You're watching Tungsten Tales with 2014 Young Player of the Year, Michael Smith. Michael, we're going to talk about your top tips now. Uh, what's your routine as to regards to training? Um, routine, I just well, I go down to my mum and dad's pub and then start practicing for like three to five hours maybe. And I just work on scoring-wise. I don't see the point in practicing doubles. I do it sometimes, like one, two, one in nine darts. But it's like a footballer practicing a penalty for the World Cup. You can't practice pressure, so you can't practice when you come to a double Twitter. And first of all, you've got to get be able to score to get to a double. So I want to be like one of the powerhouse scorers, the most 180s, and then worry about the double at the end of the game. Because if I can hit a treble that's just over an inch wide, uh, long, I can hit a double that's two and a half inches long. So that's all to do here in practice. And with that practice, do you play competitively against maybe people down the pub or with, with a training partner, or do you kind of just work on the technique? Yeah, I've, I've always got someone who practices with me. If not, some of my mates or my dad will come in and practice with me. Then after I've done three hours on my own, I'll go home and then maybe come back at seven and I'll just play the boys in the pub, 501 straight off. And then when it's day on, then get me, I'll put it all together, then we'll have worked on just before in the practice. Of course, there'll be lots of preparation that goes into playing in a tournament. How does that change for you? Do you have rest days and not play ahead of a day of competition? No, I always stay the same, really, because <clears throat> there's no point practising in something different because you're not you're not doing the same thing you've been working on forget you where you are now. So, like, just in October, I practised my doubles for the first time for the Grand Prix and I went up there not confident because I wasn't seeing doubles in the practice. So if I would have just left it and not had no confidence or if he had confidence of hitting him, it might have been a different game. So I just stick to what I've done all the time. On a game day, warm-up wise, how does that go for you? On game days, I wake up nice and early, showered and stuff, and save and playing at seven. I'll get to the venue about half three, chill out for half an hour, and start practicing, ready for the match. Then, mm -hmm. obviously, at a competition, there's lots of other players there. Do you take much notice of what's going on with them? Do you watch other matches and kind of see how players are playing and? their technique and styles? No, because you start worrying about your own game then if someone else is going on. I just stick my headphones in and keep myself to myself. Sometimes if me like me and Gary's playing on the same night, we'll practice on the same board. We'll play the one, two, one checkouts in nine darts and just get on with our own games. You mentioned Gary Anderson there. You've got a great relationship with him, haven't you? As your mentor and taking you under his wing. Yeah, like uh, he was the very first game of darts ever watched in 07. And that's what made me start playing darts, watching my dad practice as well when he played for the local team. So. I, that's why he's always been my idol. And then when he took me on, it was a big confidence boost for me that someone like him wanted me. So that's why I'm grateful for him as well. Across the land, there's many people that play darts and maybe in the local. What tips could you kind of give them if they want to improve their game? Don't listen to what people's got to say. Like, I've been doing it lately on like Twitter and Facebook where they say all oh, this and that. So just keep off down and keep your own head, keep confidence about what you're doing and just... Do it your own way and don't listen to what other people have to tell you. Michael, thank you very much. Then. Tips there from the pro himself in association with Unicorn Darts.